It was a big year for 3D movies. Toy Story, Despicable Me, Tron. Seems like everything this year was three-dimensional. Except the characters in The Tourist. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celeb reactions to Ricky Gervais roasts. You'll be pleased to know this is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so I don't care anymore. Um, I'm joking. I never did. For this list, we're looking at the funniest, most surprising, and most shocking reactions other celebrities had towards comedian Ricky Gervais's jokes. Which reaction surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Al Pacino. It's a great honor for me to uh, have played such an extraordinary, portrayed such an extraordinary person as Jack Kevorkian. Though it wasn't his first time hosting the Golden Globes, Gervais's second time hosting the award show proved just as contentious as his future hostings would be. Al Pacino, on the other hand, has enjoyed himself at each award show where Gervais hosted. It's really a, a, a kind of a special thing for the actor when they get to play a real person. The famed actor defended Gervais's jokes after the 2011 Golden Globes, saying, quote, When you're a comic like that in this kind of environment, you sort of can't censor yourself. Then, at the 2020 Golden Globes, Pacino could be seen laughing during the comedian's opening monologue alongside the folks in our next entry. I thank you all. Thanks a lot. Number 9. Chris Evans. And the reviews. Oh, shocking. I saw one that said, this is the worst thing to happen to cats since dogs. While one of his Marvel co-stars didn't take a liking to Gervais's humor, more on that in a little bit, Chris Evans, Captain America himself, was thoroughly enjoying himself at the 2020 Golden Globes. This was arguably Gervais at his most savage, so there were bound to be some offended individuals. But Dame Judi Dench defended the film, saying it was the role she was born to play because she... I can't do this next joke. Evans was not one of those people. At one point in Gervais's monologue, the camera cuts away to show a handsomely bearded Evans laughing with a full and gorgeous smile. And licking her <laughs> Seems like he was enjoying himself, which is something that could not be said for some other people. Number 8. Robert De Niro and Martin Scorsese The greatest living director made the news for his controversial comments about the Marvel franchise. He said they're not real cinema and uh, they remind him of theme parks. I agree. Much like Pacino, De Niro and Scorsese have shown they aren't afraid to laugh at themselves even when under the crushing weight of Gervais's honesty. At the 2020 Golden Globes, De Niro and Scorsese can be seen sitting close to the stage alongside the Irishman co-stars Pacino and Joe Pesci. Legends, icons, yeah? Look, at this table alone, uh, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. But... <laughs> Baby Yoda. Uh, oh, that's, that's Joe Pesci, sorry. Gervais does give them a brief moment of praise before bringing up Scorsese's then recent comments about Marvel movies being, quote, theme park rides. Gervais turns the comment into a joke about Scorsese's height, and the famed director laughs while admitting his short stature. They remind him of theme parks. I agree. Although I don't know what he's doing hanging around theme parks. He's not big enough to go on the rides, is he? Number seven, Robert Downey Jr. I love this next presenter. He's so cool. Um, he's the star of Iron Man. We'll admit that Ricky's humor is not something some folks can get behind due to how brutally honest he can be. Robert Downey Jr. is one of those folks. When introducing RDJ, Gervais made a joke about the actor's history with substance use disorder. But many of you in this room probably know him best from such facilities as the Betty Ford Clinic and Los Angeles County Jail. Please welcome Robert Downey Jr. When RDJ got to the stage, he made a remark that indicated he wasn't particularly happy with Gervais's bit. Aside from the fact uh, that it's been hugely mean-spirited with mildly sinister undertones, I'd say the vibe of the show is pretty good so far, wouldn't you? Backstage, RDJ would tell the press, quote, I think it's great to be funny, but it's better when you can do it without hurting people. Number six, Whitney Cummings. With a morning show, a superb drama, yeah. A superb drama about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing, made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. Of the handful of times Gervais has hosted the Golden Globes, his 2020 hosting was by far the most controversial. 
People famous and not so famous took to Twitter to voice their outrage. But fellow comedian Whitney Cummings spoke out in defense of Gervais across a few tweets. If you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. Cummings pointed out Gervais's off-camera good-hearted nature, stating how he's, quote, done more for animal welfare than most celebrities combined. She would further dismiss the backlash by saying, quote, the idea that anyone in a $4,000 gown covered in diamonds would be upset about a good joke is wild. Right, let's do the first award. The first award. Number five, Bruce Willis. You know our next presenter from such films as Hudson Hawk, Look Who's Talking, Mercury Rising. Anyone who has seen Gervais host knows that one of his best bits is how he introduces the next presenter in ridiculous ways. Robert Downey Jr. may not have liked his introduction, but Bruce Willis sang a different tune with the way Gervais introduced him. At the 2011 Golden Globes, the British comedian introduced Willis as, quote, Ashton Kutcher's dad. Please welcome Ashton Kutcher's dad, Bruce Willis. After the show, Extra TV approached Willis to ask the star about the joke. Surprisingly, Willis was not offended in any way, and even went so far as to call Gervais, quote, a brilliant comic. Sometimes Hollywood's do, uh, Hollywood does provide you with outrageous fortune. Ricky. Number four, Tim Allen. When hosting the 2011 Golden Globes, Gervais made a joke about Tom Hanks and Tim Allen when introducing them, praising the former for his extensive career and the other for, well, being Tim Allen. Starring in such films as Philadelphia, Forrest Gump, Castaway, Apollo 13, and Saving Private Ryan. The other is Tim Allen. Both Hanks and Allen would jab back before presenting the award. You know, like, like many of you, we recall back when Ricky Gervais was a slightly chubby but very kind co comedian. Yeah. <laughs> Neither of which is he now. Fast forward to 2020 when Gervais expressed his regret making the joke. Gervais felt the joke was somewhat of a cheap shot towards Allen, conveying some admiration of the star's position in life, getting to stand on a stage with Tom Hanks. Oh, don't worry, we'll get to him in just a bit. You are a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. Number three, Steve Carell. Look at his stupid face. <laughs> Couldn't actually win one of his own, so he stole someone else's. During the 2008 Emmys, Gervais gave his friend a hard time for accepting an Emmy on his behalf and for his monumental success starring in The Office. I made you what you are and I get nothing back. A few years later at the 2011 Golden Globes, Gervais once again teases Carell for his uprising, only this time poking fun at him for leaving his role as Michael Scott in The Office. He's now leaving that show and killing a cash cow for both of us. Please welcome the wonderful Tina Fey and the ungrateful Steve Carell! Gervais even runs up to Carell in the same way Carell accepted his friend's Emmy at the 2007 Emmy Awards. Clearly, it's all played up for laughs. And Gervais even said in an interview with Pierce Morgan that he had talked to Carell beforehand about his jokes. <laughs> Never gets old. Number two, Ben Affleck. Our next presenter is the star of the hilarious comedy The Martian. During the 2016 Golden Globes, Gervais hit Matt Damon and Ben Affleck in one introduction. After mentioning The Martian was a, quote, hilarious comedy, Gervais mocked Damon's friend with this joke. He's also the only person who Ben Affleck hasn't been unfaithful to. Please welcome Matt Damon. Damon was clearly shocked by the way he was introduced. But what about Affleck? Well, he was very mature about it. When asked by the New York Times, Affleck stated, quote, It's the way Ricky Gervais perceives me, I suppose. Whatever. I've had jokes made at my expense before. It's part of the deal. Thank you. Um... <laughs> before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Tom Hanks Given that Hanks has attended a handful of Golden Globe shows before, including the ones Gervais hosted, we're almost surprised at his shock during the 2020 show. Throughout Gervais's monologue, one will notice a few shots where the famed actor has his mouth agape. 
clearly shocked by Gervais's blunt demeanor. Many talented people of color were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So, <laughs> fifth time. Of course, the most famous and now memed shot was after the comic called out Hollywood for its hypocrisy. If you win, right? Come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god. And Hanks can be seen looking off to the side, eyebrows raised, and mouth tightened. Gervais's jokes were alarming, yes. But again, how could this be foreign to Hanks? I came here in a limo tonight, and the license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. So, no. Shush. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.